हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू बिट फ्यूम्स आई एम योर होस्ट सार्थक एंड दिस इज अ चैनल वेयर आई टॉक अबाउट लेरवल एंड द कूल थिंग अबाउट लेरवल सो इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब सो वी आर ऑन आर लेरवल व्यू फोन बुक ऐप इन विच द फर्स्ट एपिसोड वॉज जस्ट द इंट्रोडक्शन एंड वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट सो दिस इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट बट टू क्रिएट दैट वी नीड लॉट्स ऑफ थिंग्स Firstly, we need simple Laravel app. Then we need Vue.js, then Vue Router, Burma, many things. And in this episode, we are going to install everything we need. So, firstly, we need Laravel. So, just pick up any folder where you want to install your project and open terminal or command prompt if you are on Windows. So, what you have to do after opening command prompt, you just have to type this thing: Laravel. new phone book obviously if you have not installed composer and this laravel installation system then you have to learn about these things and you should refer to the video i have created on how to install laravel 5.5 or even you can watch 5.4 also process are same so you can check out the card and go to that link so let's hit enter and what it will going to do it will going to install our laravel 5.5 fresh installation and while it's installing let's search for burma so i will go to burma.io and here here you can see it's given here npm install burma so we need to install it via npm okay that's good but we need vue js but you know laravel is so good that it include vue js for you you don't have to install it but we need vue router so let's go and type vue router and here it is so installation guide and again we need npm this means to install burma to install router we need npm so after installing laravel we need to install the npm so let's wait to complete it and i will come back so you can see laravel is completely installed and what we need we need burma and vue router so let's just install npm install vue router so let's see what we will get so paste hit enter and i think it says you have to go to that project so let's go phone book cd phone book and obviously to install npm install vue router you need npm that means you have to install node js so to install node js you have to go to node. Dot, i think node js.org yeah you have to install this then you will get node command okay so let's paste it and let's give a save flag so that it will get everything on your package.json file so you can see vue router is successfully installed and if i open my project in sublime so i will open this in sublime and you can see there is a new folder called node underscore module and yeah vue router is here so let's go here and what we need we need npm install burma and save this also so you can see if i go to package.json dependencies is only vue router but if i hit enter for burma it will install burma and now you can see dependencies is burma is added in your package.json file and obviously node module is here after doing all these thing we need to install npm so npm install it will install each and everything we have in our package.json file so let's hit enter it will install node because we need to compile all these uh, view part in a one file so that's why we need npm to run our webpack or simply the laravel mix so if you are not familiar with the laravel mix i have advanced laravel series please go and check out but it's not so hard you can learn it here also so you can see that npm is successfully installed now now what we need let's first see on the sublime that we have all these package 
inside our node underscore modules folder and you don't have to worry about this because we just use this we are never going to have this in our project when we are going live okay so now everything is installed and where we can start our project so for that we have to go to resources folder then assets folder and you can see js and sas is here but if i go to sas and app.scss you can see we are still using bootstrap yeah that's okay but we are not going to use bootstrap because our styling partner is burma so let's change it to burma and let's move it and say burma but how will i know i have what i have to write here so actually what you have to do you have to give the path for the node module burma folder so inside node module search for burma so b u where is that yeah here it is burma then you just need to give the path for s a s s file says file so burma then what we have to do we have to say slash and again burma you don't need to say sas so everything is good save this file and now go here type npm run watch what it will going to do it will watch your files and wherever it's changed then it will run and compile it again so you can see there is no error but if i give any wrong path and save this file you can see i have this error in my compilation of this files so what you need to do you every time have to give the correct path so that's good we are using burma that's nice and it's now successfully completed so that's good and what we next have to do let's go and close it this time resources asset and this time on the js file open this js app.js and you can see bootstrap is still here but this bootstrap is not the styling bootstrap this is actually this bootstrap.js file so you don't have to worry about this you don't have to remove this okay that's okay and let's go to this bootstrap.js here we are saying require bootstrap hyphen says now we don't need this okay so let's just remove this okay and save it and if i go to terminal and yes no error that means everything is working fine so we have done everything correctly now we can start our system creating that uh, phone book system in our project so if you have any problem feel free to message me and don't forget to subscribe like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye